Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. This is a 24 by 48 inch called Daylily. And I'll tell you about my colors. That's a, a brass by Modern Masters. And then that's my, that's Sharv and Indigo with Jenkins Green and Payne's Gray. That is Mauve by Amsterdam Expert. And then that is Modern Masters Orange with some Nicolazzo Gold. That's kind of a pretty plum color. Um, I'll try to recall what's in it and I'll list it below. That is Modern Masters Iridescent Gold. And Thalo Turquoise. And then Prussian Blue with Payne's Gray. You can see the consistency is all very thin. That's Modern Masters Iridescent Pearl mixed with Titanium White. So I use the same colors a lot, but I use them differently. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I mean. Um, and then that's the Cloud Over Mixes. That's a very light gray. And 24 karat gold mixed with Nicolazzo Gold to just make it richer. That is DecoArt uh, Garnet mixed with a little bit of Prussian Blue. And then that's a light pink Cloud Over. So the pink and the gray have, have DecoArt Satin Enamel in them. And then I have three colors of base coat. That's kind of a beigey, um, greeny beige color. That is like this kind of blue-green, dark base, and then white. So yeah, I do feel like the same colors are on my table quite often, um, <clears throat> because partially because certain paints just pearl really well. And so what I'm doing today is I've, I was kind of like just being pretty spirited um, with the paint, just sort of going for it. Uh, it wasn't super calculated. I definitely had a vision. Uh, so those are the three colors of base coat that I put down, and I'm just going to stretch them out. And the darker base coat also has satin enamel in it. Uh, a lot of times... I get these tinted base coats from paint that I bring up off the plastic after I do a painting. So I rarely throw paint away. I've got big jugs of all sorts of different shades of different concoctions floating around my studio. Um, so, you know, if I'm looking to create a certain color, you know, sometimes starting with white and then tinting it with some of these other paints um, can, you know, you can really create some really earthy, beautiful, different tones of paint. So yeah, this is actually, I'm really excited about this painting. Um, <clears throat> it's going to the same client as Oasis. So she commissioned me to do two paintings for her and they're kind of seasonal. You know, one was going to be more in a cool type palette. And then this one has quite a lot more color. So you know, that especially the mauve and the Nicolazzo gold. Um, and right now what I'm doing is I'm going to put the puddles down onto the base coat. So I like to sort of start with the more subtle color, like the white's going to be more subtle against the gray and the, and the greenish base coat. And then I'm working my way up into the gold and that Modern Masters paint works really well for this. Um, just reacts really nicely. It pearls really beautifully. And then, I can't remember. Oh, that's a little bit of turquoise. And I was, yeah, just really feeling uh, pretty free and spirited. <laughs> so kind of just letting it flow, you know? Sometimes when I hold back is where fluid art sometimes feels more stuck. The, the more fluid I'm feeling, the more fluid the painting usually comes out. So, and then that's that sort of plum, kind. it's like a quinacridone violet um, mixed with a bit of blue paint to give it just this really pretty kind of violet punch. And then I stretch this out and then I come in with my cloud overs and some mauve and Nicolazzo gold accents on top. And I played with it for quite a while and 
I think the result was really interesting. Um, honestly, might be one of my favorite paintings <laughs> that I've done. Uh, I mean, it was just so different with the different colors and different dimension and the pearls and kind of a wild color palette, but I love the way it pulled together. And Margaret, I hope you love this painting um, and I hope it brings you joy for many years to come. And it was just a pleasure making this for you. So uh, you guys go ahead and um, if you want to support me as an artist, there's lots of ways you can do it. Just by being here, you're supporting me by watching. Um, I've got other social media, Instagram, Facebook, things like that, and uh, an Amazon store you can shop in. Um, tips are welcome, but not expected by any means. So uh, it's really, it's my pleasure, it's my joy to to bring art to you guys. And your support has been just, I can't tell you how much it, it fills my heart. So thank you so much. Oh, and it got a little wonky, but don't worry. It's all going to pearl out. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys all have a really beautiful day. And thank you for being here with me. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. It's deep and it's open The one thing I promise I always be honest Eternal devotion If we keep things open If you love all of me yeah, Then you let me be free yeah. uh, 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 uh. If you love me Then you let me be free if you love me oh, yeah. Yeah. I know this is driven by jealousy uh -huh. But my soul is nothing you own No I want us to love unconditionally mm -hmm. It means that I'm not yours alone No, no, no each other how could anyone believe they can own another isn't that a bit naive but think you want each other yeah my heart's like an ocean it's deep and it's open the one thing i promise i always be honest eternal devotion if we keep things open if you love all of me then you let me be free You let me be free If you love me Oh, yeah
Oh, <laughs> 